Hey, what's up you guys? If you're planning on towing a trailer with your Jeep Grand Cherokee, you have to have trailer wiring installed. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So before we start our install, we want to point out that there's two ways that you can install trailer wiring on your Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now, you have a pre-wired plug located right here, right behind your bumper. Now, this is wired, but it does not work until the dealer flashes it so that all the functions are properly working on it. Now, if you go to the dealership and have it flashed, you can just get one of these attachments where it just plugs right into it. Now, if you don't want to flash it, you can also install trailer wiring through your tail lights, which we're going to do in this install. So let's go ahead and show you how that's done. So we're just going to open up our tailgate here. And right here on the side of the tail light, we have two push pins. We're going to remove those using a flathead screwdriver. And then we'll go ahead and pull it out. Now we're going to remove our tail light. It's just going to go straight back. We're going to take our trim panel tool. It makes it really easy. Just going to go right behind our tail light, and it just pops it right out. Now we need to room, remove the two black harnesses. We're just going to pull back on those red tabs. Then we can push down and remove it. And we'll repeat on this one. Now you have two options. You can just leave this one plugged in and you can leave your tail light uh, just hanging. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and remove it just so we don't accidentally damage our tail light. And we'll just set it to the side. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now on the passenger side, we're only going to need to remove our larger black harness on the top, uh, but we're still going to remove all three of them so that we can set our taillight aside. So back on the driver's side, we're going to connect our brown T connector and our yellow T connector to these two black harnesses. And we're also going to ground our white wire right behind our taillight. Now, we're gonna bring our wire up through our bumper support. There's a channel that goes right down through here. You can just follow these wires that are already existing on the vehicle. Now, we're just gonna use a pull wire technique. We're gonna take a pull, and we're just gonna push it down through this opening. It's gonna come out down here. We're gonna tape our wires to that and pull it up. Now we're going to take all of our wires and we're just going to plug them in. Now we're going to take our white wire and we're going to ground it right behind our tail light right here. We're just going to line up the terminal and using a quarter inch socket, we'll use our provided self-tapping screw to ground it. Now we're gonna take our green T connector and we're gonna run it over to our passenger side tail light. Now we're just gonna go right through our bumper support, making sure that we keep away from our exhaust and then connect it just like we did over here. So we have a lot of extra wire 
and we don't want this drooping down and getting too close to the exhaust. So we're gonna pull it up really tight. We're gonna bundle it up and then we're just gonna go ahead and zip tie it to the existing wiring. Now with all of our harnesses in place, we're just gonna go ahead and reinstall all of our taillights. So we have one last wire that we need to hook up to complete our install, and that is our power wire. We need to hook this up to a 12 volt source to help power our converter box. Now usually we'd have to hook this up to our battery, which is located in our engine compartment, but we have a way to work around that with our Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, we have a pre-wired plug already located at the rear of our vehicle right behind our bumper right here. Now all the functions aren't working, but a lot of the times, in most cases, the power function is working on this harness. So all we have to do to check that is take our circuit tester. We're just gonna ground it on the exhaust right here. So now on our plug, we're just gonna remove the protective cap and we're going to use our circuit tester to test our far right function. This is our power function. And as you can see, our circuit tester lights up, which means we have power coming from it. Now, this is our red wire right here. So we're just gonna pull the tape back a little bit so we have more space to hook up our power wire to this function. So we're gonna use our provided fuse holder to install our power wire. Now, we're just gonna take a heat shrink bug connector and attach it to one end. So now on our black wire off of our converter box that we pulled into our bumper a little bit, but we have enough space to hook it up right here we're just gonna go ahead and attach it on the other side of that butt connector. And we'll use a butane torch to go ahead and shrink the butt connector. So now we're gonna use a scotch lock on this wire to connect our fuse holder to it. We're gonna take our fuse holder and we're going to push its wire all the way through on the right side of our scotch lock. Then we're gonna put this around that wire and then we're gonna use a pair of pliers to crimp it down. Now before we close it up, we're just gonna make sure we have a good connection. If you have a circuit tester, you can just take it and touch the metal part of the scotch lock and this will light up telling us that we have power going through it. Then we'll go ahead and close the scotch lock. And then we're just gonna tape it up to help clean it up, make it look a little more professional. Now we removed this from our bracket that was holding it on the bumper we're just gonna go ahead and push it back into place. Then we're gonna take our provided 10 amp fuse and we're gonna put it into the fuse holder. And then we'll put the cap on. All right, so last, we just need to secure our four flat harness. We're gonna go and put it right next to our receiver hitch so we're gonna run it through our bumper support. Let's go ahead and bring it over our bumper beam. So a lot of people will just leave this dangling on their hitch. They'll just loop it through the tow loop right there. But there's a lot of 
ways that this can come loose and then it can drag on the ground and get damaged. So we're going to use a four flat mounting bracket. We're just gonna secure this right to the bumper, right about right here. Now this will keep our four flat secured and up and away from anything. So let's go ahead and install this. So we're gonna feel right behind our bumper and we know that there's nothing behind it. So we're gonna drill our first hole using a quarter inch drill bit. And then we'll drill our second. Now we're gonna take our provided screws that come with our kit and we're just gonna bring it through those holes. Then we'll bring our bracket into place and secure it with our provided nuts. Now this bracket is not included with our kit. If you do need one, you can pick one up at your closest U-Haul store or at uhaul.com. Now we'll take a 10 millimeter socket and we'll go ahead and tighten those down. Then we'll pull our wiring through and there's grooves on the wiring that will lock it into place. So it's gonna be tight at first. Once that locks in, it's going nowhere. And then we'll take our dust cover and we'll put it on top. So we have a lot of extra wires, so we're just gonna bundle it up behind our bumper and we're gonna zip tie it to our existing wiring harness. That way it stays out of the way. And then we'll just go ahead and cut the ends off of those. So that wraps up our install with your wiring all in place. You're ready to tow a trailer. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with the U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.